with a rectangular shaped box just like the other periscope as you can see and if I open it up again I've got two folds of paper and I'll show you what those are for in a minute now if I just close it up I've got a bit of tape here holding it together yep that's great just squeeze that in there now the next thing you need is to put another box inside now this box is just a little bit smaller than the other one and if I put it in you'll see what I mean now as you can see on the outside I've got these arrows now they're not just decorative arrows they've got a purpose because I've stuck them at the top and the little flaps here will hold the box in position now I'm just going to squeeze those together and push them back inside and that was what the ledges were for so the box doesn't drop right the way through I've got another box here just a little bit smaller again it doesn't matter if the boxes don't fit very snugly because you've got your arrows to hold them in position can I get that one in how's that going yep that's great and the last box well if you have a look here that one's also got a cut in it and what I need to put in now are the mirrors now to do the mirrors over here what you've got to do is find your mirror first of all now this is just a handbag mirror very easy to get you can get them from a chemist and what I need to do is attach it to some paper and this is a piece of paper that's got a few folds in it what I'll do is I'll fold it together and then I'll show you how you attach your mirror now you've got a right angle there so you've got two equal sides and what you need to do is stick your mirror like that onto that edge now I've got a bit of tape here which I've just got to peel off get rid of those just take this one out the way now there you can see you've got your mirror at an angle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one back over here into my periscope now here we go you've got to get it at the right angle just push that in like that there we are that's safely secure now I can put this is that secure yes you've got to make sure you don't want any broken mirrors you've got it very firmly stuck together now I'm just going to put this back in here you put it the opposite way round to the bottom one in it goes is that going in yes great and one more thing you've got your bottom mirror and I'm just going to put that one in let's make sure again that I get it at the right angle lots of tape here to hold all these in position and I've just got one finishing touch I thought I'd put a lid on my periscope so I'll just stick that in the center like that right that's it now let's see how this works I'm going to start expanding it here if I just start pulling it up there we go turn it round that's hooked over now the next one. Oh yes now this is getting very tall now and we've just got one more up here Oh yes is that going to a covert great now what we have to do is see how this works and I think I'm going to have a look and see what Tony's doing oh yes now I feel at least six feet taller I call that wishful thinking. But you can make a mirror image without using a mirror. I think most of you know about this, but I'll just, just remind you. You can write your name in ink or paint. My name appears to be Blot. Now, we fold that over. And you can just see a little bit through the paper, which is rather a good thing. And we open it out. And we have rather a pretty pattern. The only thing about it is, of course, it continues and will always have 
this fold down the middle. But there is a way round it. On the floor here, Margot has put a vast sheet of plastic polythene. And Margot, you've also got all the paint ready for us. We're yep. going to use water-based paint, pretty thick, on this. I and the... I shall make a start. I'm going to use a bit of blue here. Good for you. All right, here we go. Can I put a little bit in yeah. among, among this? Sure. All right, there we go. Too much? No? No, I think that looks quite good. Oh, it's lovely okay. thick paint, this. Isn't Just it? a dribble of white there. Any white in here? Would that, yes, would I think. That what jump? about just there? I think on that red and you've got nice. Yeah. Oh, yes. A bit just emerging. a bit on my. Do you want any down there? Yes, I think so. Oh, I've seen something else. Rather. How about a bit of. Whatever you like. We shall push it around a bit. Mm -hmm. I want it. Bullseye! Yep, that looks like. What that we do here? now is to fold this over. Try to take that Got it? Off. Yes, just on about. the fold and down. <gasps> this is this. the fun bit. This is the fun bit. Yeah. There it goes. Let's push it out here. That is lovely. Look, look, this is, this is what I love. Doing that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Yes. I just want to make that. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. You ready? This is, the, this is the exciting bit. I know. Nice. Can you get round to the other side? I'll take that side. <gasps> oh, yeah! Beautiful. Now, quickly, 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 the paper. Right. Ready? Yes. Oh, bliss. You know, you can really <laughs> lie on it now. Really, you can, can see, see exactly what thing. you need to do, <laughs> can't you? You can feel, you can feel, you can feel the paint the underneath. Sort of squishing underneath. I hope we've got I, it all. I, I, I forgot I know. what there that over that I, th I think, I think we must put it on. You think so? Yeah. You're going to right, I'll take, take this that corner. in. There we go. Oh, right. And gently. <laughs> Margot, you know what? It's upside it's, down, It's upside Tony. down. I think something magic will have to be done to show that. Time now for your work in the gallery. A blot, I think, Margot. Yeah. And a very, very beautiful one, isn't it? I've been trying to work out the technique of this one. Oh, you know the technique. It's the ink, I think, that we want to know about. Yeah. It's very thick. This is beautiful. Very thick paint used on this one. Mm. And some glitter. Very effective floral picture. There, yes, I it think. is. Gosh, someone's got a lot of stamps here. I know. What an original way for a stamp yes. collection to be put. Delightful. Heads on stamps, I heads in the picture. Papers. Very effective background, that. Mm. See, diagonal backing. Two nice heads. Oh, Tony, no, you'll like this one. You've separated pictures like this The before, exploded fish. Yes. I, th I think it's a jolly good way of making a design. Yeah. I like to, I like to that background to it. Another... Oh, this one's good. Mirror to image. Yeah, this program, yes. that's right. Very effective here to use both paint and paper. Yes, there is cut-out paper. Cut-out paper as well. Isn't this a joy? This is a very nice sweet picture. the windows of this little church. Mm. You can imagine this being someone's local church, can't you? That they've painted it. Yes, indeed. Mm. It's the stained glass windows with the little... Bit. Now, here's another sort of blotty thing. Obviously blown. Yes. The pa watercolour paint blown. The paper has ruckled. The paint has dried eventually and cracked away. Do you see to yeah. leave those those? Do you those remember when we marks? did that one? You bet. Blow painting. That's a good way of doing things. This one's really nice. It looks like night time, doesn't it? All that crinkled foil mm. in the background. Mm. Bin liner. Yes. Great reflections here. 
Yes, it's a very effective picture, that. Foil, I, I foil and bin liner, I think, didn't you? Yeah. And here's our address. Heartbeat, BBC Television, London, W3, 6XZ. Molly, have you been fiddling about with this drawer? Are you sure? What do you think then, Tony? Do you think it's an antique? The drawer's stuck, Margaret. Um, must be a way to a Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Right down the back, there's a yes. label and I can't quite read well, it. Well, I've got just a thing, Tony. Of My periscope. Of course. Let's see if well, I... that's about all the time we've got for today. Tony, I can just about read it. Good. Bye. See you next time. It's... What does it say? It's a genuine Bennett antique. <coughs> Good old Mr. Bennett. <coughs>